Hey guys, so today we're going to go over how much wire is needed to build a house. Um, we're just going to be covering how much Romex you need. First thing you need to know is that Romex is the same thing as NM cable. So when you go to your Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever uh, supply store you're going to to get your wire, you're going to be looking for NM cable. Not all of it says Romex on it. I believe Romex is a brand. So the four types of Romex or NM cable you're going to need to buy is going to be 14-2, 14-3, 12-2, and 10-2. Now this is the most cost efficient way that you can wire a house. A lot of contractors have opted to not use 14-2 and 14-3. They use only 12-2 and 12-3 because it's a larger wire. Um, they feel like they're getting a better heat factor because the larger diameter of the copper doesn't get as hot under the same amount of load. However, there is absolutely nothing wrong with using 14.2 and 14.3. Um, this is the most cost efficient way. This is the way I wire my houses. So that's the way I'm going to show you today. Now we've got a few formulas here that you're going to need to know. So to get the amount of 14.2 you need, you're going to multiply one foot of 14.2 times the amount of square feet in the house. To get the amount of 14.3 you're going to need, you're going to multiply 1 15th of a foot per square foot of the house. To get the amount of 12.2 you're going to need, you're going to multiply 1 quarter of a foot per square foot of the house. And to get the amount of 10.2 you're going to need, you're going to need to measure from your panel to your hot water heater location so that one there I don't really have a good formula to because people put their hot water heaters in all different kind of places but the 10 2 is only needed for the hot water heater now we are not going to cover uh, today the stove wire or the dryer wire um, we'll cover that in its own video because there's a lot of different models of stove and dryer and they have a lot of different amperages and a lot of different circuit needs. So today this will cover 70% of the wire that you need to wire an entire house. So now we're going to go ahead and do some math. Um, we're going to say that we're going to build a 1600 square foot house. So we're going to say we got a 1600 square foot house. That's the plan, 1,600 square foot house. So first we're going to do our 14.2. So 14.2 is one foot per square foot. So that's easy. We're going to multiply 1,600 times one. And that leaves us needing 1,600 feet of 14.2. Now our 14.3 we're going to multiply 1 15th of a foot per square foot. So we'll come over here to our calculator. We'll turn it on. We'll enter 1 divided by 15. And then we're going to multiply that by 1,600 square feet. And that's going to give us 106.66656. So... A word of advice here on your 14.3, go ahead and round up to the nearest 50 foot. So we're going to be rounding up to 150. So let me, let me write that up here. Round up to even 50s. So since that says 106, we're going to go up to 150. So our 14.3 we're going to need 150 feet. Pretty simple, huh? Now, our 12-2 is going to cover a lot of our dedicated appliance circuits. Um, I believe your washing machine is going to need a dedicated 20-amp circuit, and your microwave, if it's a built-in, 
is going to need a dedicated 20 amp circuit. Uh, but also your kitchen has to have one 20 amp circuit uh, for countertop plugs and small appliances. So this calculation should cover all three of those. So we're going to come over here and we're going to clear our calculator and we're going to divide one by four. One divided by four. If, for those of you that didn't already know, it's 0.25. Now we're going to multiply that by how many square feet we have. So we're going to multiply that, multiply times 1600, and that's going to leave us with 400 feet. So our 12, 2, we're going to need 400 feet. Now you can go online and you can start getting prices. This wire should finish a 1600 square foot house that's all your outlets all your lights uh, all your light switches uh, hallways bedroom bathroom laundry room that that should cover everything uh, the only thing that you're missing now is your hot water heater and again you're going to measure from from the panel to the hot water heater location and I usually add a little so that you don't come up short. And, and uh, then you're missing your stove and your dryer. So I will show you in another video how to calculate the size and type of wire and the length that you need for your stove and your dryer. So hopefully this helps you get an idea of how much it's going to cost you and maybe save you a few trips to the hardware store and buying wire a lot of guys they'll buy 500 foot of wire and think that it'll do a whole house it looks like a lot sitting on the ground but once you've strung it through it's not very much so this is what it's actually going to take um, i've done this a lot i use these formulas every time works great so uh yeah we're going to continue doing the series on how to wire a house and this is just the start of it so if y'all need this advice or enjoy this type of content make sure to like comment and the main thing is subscribe uh, if you subscribe you'll get notified when our next video comes out and by the time we get done with this series that we're doing you will know how to wire a house from start to finish so thank you guys very much for watching y'all have a great day